<laughs> and I'm glad you came to see us. Of course. A leader uprooted, like most people from the Northwest Territories forced south by wildfires. Thousands of evacuees wading out the worst wildfire season in Canadian history. This crisis thought by many to be fueled by climate change. A connection Alberta's premier stops short of making. All I know is that we have had the worst fire season in our history. We, we have had terrible fire seasons in the past. There are some years we get lucky and we don't have uh, any burn at all. Of course, wildfires do burn every year, but this wildfire season has been unprecedented. Northern communities struggling to evacuate with few highways and vulnerable telecommunication lines. A problem the territory's premier wants Ottawa to address now. We don't have basic infrastructure that every Canadian takes for granted. So I'm tired, I've been tired for a long time for asking for infrastructure, and now I'm angry. Well, the Prime Minister wasn't committing to that today, but agreed the North needs more help. Whereas this time the fires in Yellowknife were able to be prevented from getting too close to the city, um, Next time we might not be so lucky and we're going to need to uh, learn from these near misses. The climate change means Canada could be in this position more often. The north is going to be the sort of the, the canary in the coal mine and, and really an, uh, a critical place for, for Canada to invest to make sure that everybody uh, is protected against climate change. It's a worry for evacuees spread across the prairies too, waiting to go home, wondering when they might have to leave again. Things that, that we're doing now for fire breaks perhaps should have been done two years ago or, or, or maintained better. So, and we're going to have to do it because this is, this is not a one-off. So Aaron, do we have any idea when the people who have been evacuated will be able to head home? In not any time soon. Those fires up north are still awfully close to some of the communities up there. Just today, firefighters near the town of Hay River, they had to retreat from the front lines. And anyone who's not actively fighting that fire, they're being airlifted out. And wildfire experts say the next 72 hours, they're going to be absolutely critical. We're expecting some precipitation, some rain across the Northwest Territories, but unfortunately, it's in the wrong spot. The place where the fires are still happening is going to remain warm and windy. Aaron Collins reporting tonight from Calgary.